Hello everybody, welcome to instrumentation training channel. In my previous video, I discussed regarding what is control loop, steps and principle involved in control loop. Link for this is given in the description below. Now, in today's video, I am going to discuss sample instrumentation interview question and answers that can be asked by Zedara Workforce Company. So, before going into interview questions, we will see about this company. The company and its 26 branches have been established across the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to cover all its land in addition to many branches and contractors around the world. They have the responsibility of recruiting high standard workforce based on implementing the highest standard that may be used to select their employees. Their strategy was natural outcome of a persistent and vigilant work throughout years of experience with major companies as they did their best to assure that right person will be appointed in a right job. Now we will go through the instrumentation interview question and answers. First one, what is absolute zero pressure? Absolute zero equal to 760 mm of HG vacuum. Next, what is PT100? PT100 means 100 ohms at zero degree centigrade for a platinum resistance bulb. Next, how do you calibrate a DP transmitter? Before answering this type of questions, we have to tell that to conduct toolbox meeting before going to work in field. And also we have to take permit because they will see our safety consciousness. Then we can answer as below. The following steps are to be taken while calibrating. Adjust zero of the transmitter, static pressures test. Give equal pressure on both sides of the transmitter. Zero should not shift. If it is shifting, carry out static alignment. Next, vacuum test. Apply equal vacuum to both the sides. The zero should not shift. Next, calibration processor. Give 20 PSI air supply to the transmitter. Vent the LP side to atmosphere. Connect output of the instrument to a standard test gauge. Adjust zero. Apply required pressure to high pressure side of the transmitter and adjust the span. Adjust zero again if necessary. Next, how do you do a zero check on a DP transmitter? Close one of the valve, either HP or LP. Open the equalizing valve. The output should read zero. Next, what will happen if the displacer has fallen down while in line? The output will be maximum. Next, an operator tells you that a control valve is stuck. How will you start checking? The following steps to be followed. First of all, get the control valve is passed from operation. Check the lingual to the diaphragm of the control valve. Disconnect it, possible the actuator stem from the control valve stem. Stroke the actuator and see whether the actuator operates or not. If not, then the diaphragm may be punctured. If the actuator operates, connect it back to the plug stem, stroke the control valve. If it does not operate, loosen the gland nuts a bit and see if it operates. If it does not, then control valve has to be removed from the line and sent to workshop. Next, how much will be the PSI for one bar? One bar equal to 14.504 PSI. What are the different types of orifice plates? The following are the types of orifice plates. Concent, eccentric, segmental and quadrant edge. Next, what is a thermocouple? A thermocouple consists of two dissimilar metals joined together at one end, which produce a small voltage when heated or cooled. This voltage is measured and used to determine the temperature of the heated metals. The voltage for any one temperature is unique to the combination of metals used. Thanks for watching. We will meet again in another interesting instrumentation video. Please like, share, subscribe. And also don't forget to click on bell icon for receiving more interesting instrumentation updates.